who joins us from there. Nick, explain all this to us then. An early election. Why is this happening now, first of all? Well, you talk about the mink crisis and, that, you know, this is Scandinavia. It doesn't involve ministers buying mink coats with uh, corporate com government credit cards. Denmark is the biggest producer of mink fur in the world. What Meta Friedrichsen did was order the call, which is to say the slaughter of some 50 million mink during the coronavirus pandemic because there was a fear there could be a new virus uh, created in their bodies that would be um, resistant to vaccines. Turned out that wasn't entirely legal. She came under a lot of criticism. So one of the coalition partners in her bloc said, we want an early election. They said that over the summer. Uh, a lot has happened since this summer. You'll remember that at Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline blew up off a Danish island. Island. Uh, prices have shot up, energy prices have shot up as the war in Ukraine has worsened. There is a very fragile international situation which has led the Prime Minister to say some people may be asking why I called an early election in the middle of an international economic and energy crisis, but that is what Parliament wanted. So what exactly are the main uh, issues for people there then? Well, Previously, it would have been immigration. You remember the far-right Danish People's Party really held sway here, but the Social Democrats, nominally you know, center-left, have adopted their platforms. If you're an asylum seeker who comes here, you will have your valuables taken away to pay for your stay. The Prime Minister has been negotiating with Rwanda to house asylum seekers while their, pro their claims are processed. The big things people are worried about are health care, for exa example, which is a, a constant, but also the economy, which is a consequence of the international situation, and defense. In number three, for the first time in 30 years, it, it's at its highest level uh, in 30 years. So court, sort of at Cold War levels and support for NATO has gone really high up. You get the feeling that sort of comfort bubble in Denmark, which is, you know, often measured as the happiest country in the world, has burst as people recognize the fragility of the international situation, which has led the prime minister to say it's time for us to come together in a sort of government of, of national union. Now, I'll just get to that uh, person you were talking about, uh, Lars Lok Rasmussen, who's created this new moderate party, um, taking a page out of the, this, this, the script of uh, the Netflix series Borgen, many Danes will tell you. What the prime minister wants to do is to create a government of national union, a sort of grand coalition in the German style, breaking with 50 years of Danish tradition. And this man might be the kingmaker in that situation. He doesn't want to be prime minister himself, but uh, she, he is the man she will need to deal with if she's able to get that kind of broad government, which uh, I think many, many Danes might like to see in, in this time of uncertainty. So how do you think it could all play out then, Nick? Well, you know, it's a proportional representation system here with 174 seats, 14 parties in a parliament. There'll probably be more representation from Greenland and the Faroe Islands. So uh, hard to calculate exactly how the arithmetic will play out. But, uh, you know, as we've been saying, um, Meta Friedrichsen is the most popular candidate for prime minister in this country. Around 46 percent of the people would like to see her stay on in power. Her party is doing better than other parties. So I think it'll be up to her to form a coalition. But, you know, really anything can happen. Uh, it's up to the voters to decide. There will be days, weeks, possibly months of negotiations if there is a very large number of parties that make it into, into parliament. Nick, thanks very much. Nick's my set of correspondents talking to us there from Copenhagen. A lot more, of course, from Nick over the next 24 hours or so.